So far, the judging day has been amazing because I spent so long and so many days reading the entries. First of all, it's great to discuss them with everyone else that's read the entries, but also what I found valuable is the other judges have been able to sway my opinion. In business, you can only see things from your point of view, and that's why a founding team is so important, or your directors or your board. And the judges create a mini board of judging awards, and it's been a really great morning so far, and I feel like we're getting the best out of the entries and we're really selecting the right businesses that are going to win. We ended up running over in our judging because of the fact that we were sitting there splitting hairs to make sure that we were judging things through the, the, the same kind of lens when we talk about innovation or impact of, of, of each of the startups. We wanted to make sure that we were assessing things through the same and consistent way because of the fact that the quality of the entries was so high. We ended up you know, really focusing and pulling down on a, on a, on a particular way of looking at it for, for the ones that we've looked at so far, which has ended up um, proving to be proving to well, yeah. It's been very challenging at times to actually make a call. We've also got lots of businesses that are starting to make revenue revenue versus those that are starting out. So there's lots of decisions to be made as to how we sort of go about judging those and uh, coming to a consensus on that. The quality of the submissions, I could have shortlisted 10 times more than I did. And it shocked me and made me realize what a great country we have here in the UK for businesses. So many startups, so much investment, so many great founders with great ethos in their business and doing the right thing for the economy, their community, whatever it might be. Um, it's kind of blown me away.